in some area of your life you are sleeping from long time yes and now suddenly till mid of august you will suddenly feel that you are waking up so which is that area well that's the area where the sign of cancer falls in your horoscope depending on your ascendant all right why do i say this because now the entire fiery energies of the universe especially sun and mars they are lining up for this big event but it's in a water sign all right so uh, they are conjunct in cancer and mars has been in cancer from quite some time and uh, sun will be there till the end uh, end of 15th august which so like mid august all right because every 15th sun changes sign and sun has just entered cancer today so what these conjunctions will do and to what extent they will do what will be the quantity and quality will ultimately depend on your individual chart your individual placements especially where moon is placed where your sun and mars are placed originally in your birth chart and the dashas that you are running all right so if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe to the channel and if you want a consultation from me regarding this transit or any other area of your life then you could always go down to the description section where you will find the link to my website below and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him okay so now what's happening is there's been these eclipses and when these eclipses occur especially 2nd july and 16th july the solar and the lunar eclipses respectively we we sometimes feel that life is taking a new course a new direction but at the same time we are not very clear where the things are heading so for example this eclipse was there in sagittarius yes the lunar eclipse in the end last degree of sagittarius and uh, in the sign of gemini there was the solar eclipse in the beginning of july so wherever sagittarius and gemini is falling that axis depending on your ascendant okay so for example if you are a leo ascendant it is in your 511 axis okay sagittarius and gemini so similarly wherever this axis is depending on your ascendant you would have felt that things related to those houses where the focal points of your life for the last two months i would say precisely even from the time when mars and rahu were also conjunct so now mars has separated from rahu long back sun has also separated yesterday and venus will separate in another seven to eight days all right roughly seven days i would say and then things will return to normal <laughs> the eclipse season is over now and we will wait for the next eclipse which is on the day of christmas this year december 25th where there are many planets lining up in sagittarius so many planets all right so now what happens is when the eclipses occur you know then we get confused where life is heading but now since sun and mars are coming together they have come together from today and sun will be there till 15th of august in the sign of cancer and mars will also be there for quite a while so essentially for the next 30 days you could say that this conjunction is active fully and after some time uh, venus will also join this conjunction okay after a week after eight days and mercury is also there in cancer already but mercury will go retrograde back to the sign of gemini by the end of this month and from the last degrees of gemini by 2nd august it will start its retrogression so essentially wherever sun and mars gets conjunct and whenever depending on your ascendant whichever house for that one month suddenly you start feeling that there is a lot of push which you need to apply in that zone now this is not like the push of rahu i would say rahu's push is different rahu's push is for unnecessary things uh, sometimes i have seen in my experience so for example mars and rahu uh, were conjunct all right so that will not be the same and for example sun and rahu were also conjunct for the last month so it is not the same uh, as you know mars and sun being conjunct okay so when a planet is conjunct rahu especially 
there's a lot of unnecessary hype that we create or rather somebody else ends up creating in our life depending on the house where the conjunction is happening and deep down inside maybe we know that uh, we we don't have to waste so much unnecessary energy and potential in this but still we end up doing okay why because that's what rahu is who whoever cannot uh, tackle emergencies or stress situations in stress or difficult times you know so rahu is spoiled in their chart because they are not uh, having the knowledge of how to handle rahu so that therefore you will see many times when people have difficult horoscopes especially difficult sun and lord sun and moon then they will say that oh these eclipses have uh, ruined my life you know eclipse energy is very intense there is that and they will give a long speech now why that why that is because in their chart it could be possible that there are some vulnerable points all right and when eclipses occur if these points are getting connected then life becomes too vulnerable sometimes all right so that's what rahu does on the other hand if somebody is able to handle eclipses the right way then it is supposed to be understood that those uh, points where the eclipses are happening are the strong points of the horoscope okay they have mastered those areas properly and that is why they are not getting affected in a negative way dip, uh, depending on the dashas from the eclipses of course okay but sun mars conjunction is quite different i would say sun mars conjunction is as uh, they used to say you know management is a necessary evil <laughs> so it's like saying there are some activities which you have to do which may not be very uh, conducive at an emotional level okay this means when sun and mars are conjunct so check wherever the sign of cancer is falling in your horoscope depending on your ascendant not moon sign so wherever cancer is falling you will see now suddenly that there is a lot of your energy externally which is being directed to make the necessary change now what that change is and why you are making that change that will depend on your chart of course at the same time you will realize that mars which was debilitated in cancer is now conjunct sun also okay so now what you could see is that the houses which mars rules in your chart they will show some results all right results doesn't mean that uh, if it is lording your 10th house you become a millionaire it doesn't mean that that will depend on your dasha what that change will be what you will definitely see some progress there because now not only mars is there sun has also entered uh with with mars okay so because of that you will see that the uh, houses which are ruled by mars will will be assisted by the house which is ruled by sun 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 rules only one sign in everybody's chart you know leo wherever leo is and the house where cancer is they will tell the field of activity okay so for example if uh, mars is the 11th lord for example suppose somebody is a capricorn ascendant you know then mars is the lord of the 11th house and the 4th house okay so what what is the 11th house 11th house is uh, basically the house of elder siblings and now where this conjunction is happening for a capricorn this is happening in cancer which is their 7th house so now it could happen that the uh, 11th lord when it is transiting 7th house there could be some uh, possibilities for things like you know marriage or talks regarding wedding these things which come up depending on your dasha of course and uh, for example the the houses which are lord, uh, which is lorded by sun which is the 8th house for capricorn lagna it could happen that there is some support from the 8th house you know it could happen so if somebody is already married there could be some support from the in laws okay now of course the, the the ultimate result will depend on the dashas we cannot just uh, say from a single placement or a short transit but you will see the houses which mars rules they are been helped by the the lord of the sign which sun is ruling okay i mean that house i would say and cancer will tell you where it's see, cancer is like the playground you know not the zodiac sign but the house is like the playground okay and the lordships are like the agenda so it's like suppose i go to uh, france you know so france is like the house where the conjunction is happening but suppose i am here in germany in ingolstadt so 
it's like i am the lord of ingolstadt you know i am carrying the energy of ingolstadt there so wherever i go my agenda is the same but i will try to fulfill my agenda through that house where i go in okay so that that could happen could happen so for example in case of this capricorn uh, ascendants if the 11th lord is mars then it could happen that they are trying to kind of you know fulfill their gains wishes and desires through marriage okay so that is why i said that this could be an indication of marriage if the dasha is permitting of course for some capricorn ascendant yes so uh, Cap uh, for capricorn mars also rules the fourth house okay so you will see that uh, things related to uh mother or things related to home land real estate property vehicles these things also can come up through the seventh house okay so these are the things by which uh you can see the results okay so now because both the fiery planets are conjunct so at an external level will you will be very geared up to make a certain change in that direction okay and i would say it is a very good energy and the only concern that we should have is it is happening in the sign of cancer where one of them is debilitated okay mars so therefore what we can infer from this conjunction is that when we are trying to make changes in our life externally then we necessarily don't have to do things which we don't like because cancer represents the heart you know sometimes we end up doing things which we may not like so if something is not our cup of tea then let us stay away from it in the name of showing to others in the name of boasting in the name of pretending in the name of getting more likes in facebook or more selfies or more subscribers in youtube let us not pretend that we we, we are somebody else than who we are okay so this is a challenge where you will see that lots of changes lots of efforts you are making in one particular direction and at the same time uh, later you will see sun mars will again be conjunct you know in leo so this is quite kind of a long conjunction for cancer and leo i would say you know for these two zodiac signs so for the next two months and three months you will see wherever cancer and leo is they will be your prime focus okay but at the same time don't forget yourself don't forget that everybody has certain limitations and as i said in my lunar eclipse video limitations are not necessarily bad so the crux of the topic here is that let's do what we can and let's do what we want to do rather than pretending to somebody you know that no 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 i am good because see what happens then when we pretend to somebody that you know i am very good i am expert in this i am exceptional then what can happen is uh, we may we may get results externally that the other party may appreciate us but inside internally we may be poverty stricken you know our hearts will be empty as this another hearts are what do they say hearts are crying and <laughs> still they say cheers <laughs> yeah the mind is pierced with desires and the heart is pierced with fears and still they say cheers there was a statement like this i forgot all right so let us not go to that extreme that just for the sake of making things happen on the external level we forget who we are okay so just be let's be ourselves and let us do the necessary change which is required in the house of cancer and leo for the next two three months all right essentially for the next two months so there you go that is it from my side and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is kind of sleeping regarding the sign of cancer and if you want a consultation from me regarding this transit or any other area of your life then you could always go down to my website in the description section to get a reading with me yes and god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him even when this transit is going on all right thank you very much good luck